Hi everyone, my name is Sunit Kaur and welcome to my channel. In my last video, we have learned about the replication rule that we set up for cross-region account. So this will be the continuation part of my last video. So let me show you. Okay, so this is my last video. What we have learned here is we have learned we have connect we have made the connection of uh, two S3 means one S3 in in one account one S3 in other account. So both cross region replication we have a rule we have set up. So why we are why we are going to do that one is because of the some scenario what that we are going to solve. So let me just brief you in quickly what we are going to do is let's suppose that we have two account okay one account is in uh, us region and uh, us geo and another account in india region or india geo whatever it is okay so we have uh, aws account one and this is aws account two okay two account is there so there is one red slip table we have to bring this table in a table like let me give table one we have to bring this table one into red slipped in india region account okay so this table you have to bring here and then we can join it and we can find out the whatever the solution we have to find okay that is the use case so my use case is to bringing red slip table from one account to other account Okay, so there's two scenario. One is you can do that one using copy the red slip snapshot and bring it here, and otherwise moving the data from S3 S3 bucket using S3 bucket. So there's three step. We can bring the data. So this is step one. We have to bring this red slip table data into S3, and once data is there in US account. We have to move this data into S3, this India account. Okay. And once we have data here, we can just copy here. So there are three steps. One step we have to do unload. Unload command. We have to use the unload command. The unload command will, will unload data from red slip to S3. And uh, this is the step two. Step two, we have already set up into my last video. That is cross region replication rule that we set up. So as soon as the file will drop into S3, the file will come here in the account. Okay. So once we have data into this uh, India AWS account, then we need to copy this data into and it's using copy command. Okay. So this is step one, step two, and step three. So this three step process. So this is done. We I'm going to do this one and this one and also we will use cloud watch rule we'll set up cloud watch rule to trigger this lambda that is we are loading data from uh, red slip to s3 and uh, we'll use cloud watch rule I'll, and we'll schedule it anytime we'll just for testing purposes schedule at 1 pm or 1 am anything as per your requirement and uh, it will automatically run this lambda job okay and this lambda will bring data from red slip to s3 and we already have set up the application rule so that this data will automatically come here and from this s3 we'll use trigger event trigger and this event trigger will run the other lambda that is that in my india account lambda 2 and that will copy data from here to red slip okay so let me show which data will copy so i have one red slip you can see this is my receipt table nba and if you see there is data of 458 data is there okay so this data we have to bring it first we'll bring this data into my uh us s3 right so let me go and check so if you see here i'll let me delete it for testing purpose i have already done this one so that is no so i didn't get any so if I will get this, so I obviously will tell you. So this is the this is fine. So we have we have set up a replication rule on this bucket. Okay, this is my source bucket, and uh, my target bucket is. If you see, my target bucket is this. This is India region, and my target bucket is US receipt data. So let me delete this also. 
ओके ओके सो इफ यू सी दिस इज माय टारगेट बकेट देयर इज नो डेटा राइट नाउ ओनली देयर इज सम सैंपल डेटा इज देयर एंड दिस इज माय सोर्स देयर इज आल्सो नो डेटा सो दिस इज माय लैम्डा कमांड सो दिस इज दिस लैम्डा वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न हाउ टू कनेक्ट टू द रेडशिफ्ट यूजिंग लैम्डा यू कैन वाच माय प्रीवियस वीडियो यू विल गेट इट ओके सो हियर आई एम यूजिंग पाई सेकुबजी सेकुबजी टू पैकेज and this is a connection string and this is the source bucket right this is the source bucket i'm using unload command and this is a parallel op means uh, once you have copy the data from redshift it will not bring multiple file it will just bring one file okay let's let me run this one this is super easy no problem this is my setting dot uh, py where i have uh, given the credentials and the role and this is my table that we are going to query so this is my table that we are going to query and if you see this i have kept in one dictionary if you have multiple uh, things to query multiple table to query you can keep uh, writing this into key and value pair and if you see there is only one so i'm just uh, doing it uh, iterating through the dictionary item and bringing the key and from the key we have to bring the file name file name will be key and the current date With txt file, and this is unload. And in unload, we are bringing this uh, value. The value will be my select from this. So that's fine. Let me run this one. Okay, so this is done. If you if you go here and refresh it, you will see this data is already came here. So this this is NBA US data. Now we'll go to my target account. Now refresh this one. will take some time might be okay because from one reason to other reason it is uh, replicating data so uh, because the latency or uh, it internally copy so take some time so now you can see within a uh, fraction of second data is available here so my one job is done so this this part is done this part is step step one is completed step two already completed. so so i have bring data from this red ship us red ship to india s3 so in my my next video we will learn how to copy data from this this s3 to here this s3 to s to red ship and we will automate this process so thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe it thank you very much